Let's talk about images. There are quite a number of elements and widgets out there for images and some of them are very simple, some of them are very complicated, gives you all kinds of fancy features. I like this images layout element from Crocoblock in their Jet Elements add-on for Elementor. Let's dive right in. And I'll just type up here images and you'll see there are quite a lot. And if I type with the S images, you get the images layout and drag it in. Where am I going to drag it here? Let's move this view more button. Uh, there it is. And now the images layout will open and it should give me the placeholder text any moment soon. There we go. Six pictures. And of course, you're going to be able to add more or take away if you don't want six. But let's have a look quickly at the layout first. It's currently set here on layout style masonry. I want to go to the basic one so we can work with that. Click on masonry and then choose grid. Grid is the standard one that you or most of the times that you will be working with. The next thing that you want to do is to start adding images. And if you click on it, you will see it opens a light box. So that's not going to be working for you in this instance. You need to go and right click and then edit widget and then go to items. And then you will see here are the six images listed on that side. So you have to go click on it and then choose an image. And I'm going for something a little bizarre, which is the circus and the carousel all those kind of freaky things. Well, also very beautiful and splendid. And then we add some weird stuff like uh, images that we've used before just to make it not that sinister. And then the freaky, freaky one that I actually like. I like the colors of this one over here. And now we've added our six images here. So let's see what has this widget done with these images. They've loaded them. And one of the things that I love about these newer widgets are coming out is that they already put it in a contained element. In the past, if you had something like this and one had a bigger resolution than the other one, they will not be shaped nicely or not spaced nicely. And that can really be frustrating. So I like the fact that even though these images have different sizes and resolution and, and shapes and etc., they are displayed nicely here in a grid. A few things that you can do, you can go and edit the section, make it full width. That's also very nice. And then you can go back. You have to click right click, edit widget, go to style, and then the items margins can reduce to zero. Very nice effect. I like this. Even though this is an images layout, you will notice every time when I hover over it, you get this icon that shows more with the image title. And then what happens when you click on it, it will open a light box. And this is a very nice and simple light box for these images. Right, so you can see very nice high resolution images all the way from pixabay.com. Let's close out the light box. Let's go have a look again. And I'm just going to right click again, edit widget. Let's bring back our margins. Let's go to our section. And now my section up here. Am I in the section? Click again on it and then let's make it boxed again. So we just work with something a little bit smaller. Let's look at each of these items, which is an image and what you can do with each one. Items go into the image and those four things that we talked about. First, your image. Then here is the icon, a title that you can add here and then a description, of course. And you can choose. You can either have this image open in a light box like we did. Or you can, in the image, go to the light box, the link type, and you can give an external link. So people can click on it and it will open another website. For now, we leave it on light box. Let's have a look then at the various settings. There are four styles that you can go into here. The settings, the one that we started off with for default is the masonry. And the masonry is going to put it in order, keeping the resolution and the shapes, but trying to display it in a way that it will shuffle them around, making them look interesting. What I want to do here is let's change one of these images. Go to this one is image number four. Let's bring in a vertical one. Where do we have this? This one? Oh, let me wait. Let me see quickly first. Now we have that one. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try this one. 
see what happens if we bring in that one. I think that one is a portrait. Right, portrait shape. We, we usually use this kind of shape for this longer one. And now you can see it doesn't style very well. This is always the issue you have with masonry is that sometimes things don't work nicely. You have to go and play around with it. So what you do is you grab the images here on the left side and you can drag them up until you find something that works for the images that you've brought in and where they can actually look good in. Let's also go to the settings and let's make this two columns. Maybe that will give us a little bit more control. Now you see you have this image over here. It just doesn't look good. So you either have to delete it or let's play around. Let's drag another image up here. Just play around a little bit until you find something that is suitable and balanced. Now this one doesn't work. So let's drag this one. What is this now? Image number four. Let's play around with image number four. And it's a hit and miss. It's basically what you need to do. Again, that one, I'm going to drag forward down one more. Let's see if that does something. And eventually, if you don't get to where you want to be, you go ahead and you delete one of these images. That is the masonry setting. And I would advise, if you cannot achieve that balance, remove one of the images. It will just look weird on your website, all that space next to an image. The other one is justify. Now, look at this. Let's put it back at three columns. And you will see it just does It looks gnarly. It doesn't look good. Justified is going to give you a nicely spaced. They're going to size them up so that everything fits in nicely. Again, now you have this huge image here at the bottom, which you may think, Ugh, this doesn't look good. You do the same thing. You can go around and play with it, drag it around to see if it works maybe better in another position. Ah, I like that. That's a very good one. This is a perfect layout for me. And for this, of course, you can then go around and you can go ahead and choose the styling. See? Perfecto. I really like that. The last one is called list. List is basically just a vertical display of the images. And in a way, I'm not entirely sure what will be the purpose of having all these huge images like this, unless it's some kind of photography website that you're setting up. On the other hand, it could be for display. Let's do it like this. I'm going to drag in, let's make it three columns here. Now how to drag this in, I'm going to activate the navigator. Oh, I love this feature. Um, open the sections and then grab the images layout here and drag it over and drop it there. And now it's going to display like this in one column. So this could be an interesting layout design. You put the images here, over here you can put some text, especially like for a blog or some kind of post that you need to put out there could be a very interesting way of doing that. That is the images layout. Again, I like to say this, sometimes the simplest widgets work the nicest. I really like this one a lot. When I work with images, I, I want something that can be aligned and justified well. And this widget from CrocoBlock does that. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.